actually do have. Yeah, I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Hi. He's it's finally what? done. And now he's finally back. done talking. Yeah, yep. That's what I'd like to do. Just sit here and talk this whole time. I'm like, oh, Eldrazi. Oh, well, look at this. Because mm-hmm. mm, everyone's super play interested in Eldrazi. <laughs> <laughs> I think more people were interested in the prison deck segment that I did about Laren Control and like the Sun and Moon than they've been about the Eldrazi. That's deck. not a good sign. But it's like, I mean, Eldrazi has been around and like prevalent for a while that it's just like oh, I'm used to seeing it so there's not like I guess if you've played the deck you're like oh this is not that much new information but if you haven't played it you know maybe it's new information mm. I don't know anyway it's Monday it is Monday what's um, going on guys before we get started I'd love to see an oh my dog in chat oh okay cat facts sure yeah. <laughs> just to just to get started yeah right? that's fine Yo, no, oh, t- see, this is another one of those cat facts that no one wants to know about. <laughs> there was, look, I'm not even going to bring it up. I'm just going to say this is like, uh, I'm like 0 for 75 on these wow. cat facts. So, Brett's channel now has a dog fact on it. Just one. Just one dog fact. Just one. <laughs> uh, so, it's week 10. It is week 10. That's I, very important. I figure we can look at our point standings, mm-hmm. talk a little bit about it, do things a little bit different this time around. Because it's the end. <laughs> what? You want to change stuff? All right. No, no, You're no, not no, a no. creature of habit. Wait, it's season of four. Um, so I season four, we're going to do this. That's cool. <laughs> no, I think we did this previous seasons, too. Mm-hmm. Like we've talked a little bit about, here's the points. Mm-hmm. We sp- I, I know we spent a lot of time, like, week nine, the end of it, discussing, like, what can happen kind of thing. But I always like to do it. The start of week 10, too, is just going to highlight a little bit here mm-hmm. and be like, oh, okay, look at these points and stuff. Sure. I don't have a, you know, a, a report this season. See, I, you know, it's because of how things fell. It, like, yeah, it was, it was you weird. You and I went season. on opposite ends of this, you know, the country yep. for a week. Ran away from each other. The, the schedule got a little shifted, and we didn't get uh, the real Eminem to do his... His MMM report. Yeah. So it was kind of... I feel like we missed out. We missed something very important to the overall... Yo! BPAP. First time turning in. Tuning in. Words are hard. Dude, welcome to the stream. This is Glad Modern in. Magic Mondays. The... What What did you say? What did you say? Well, the longest running... The the current longest running. The current... Running. Because I'm sure there's been ones that have gone sure. on more than a year. But right. ours is, is... Every Monday. Every Monday. 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Twitch.tv slash Modern Magic Mondays. Bringing you modern magic content from our area. Yes. Our shop. Winchester, Virginia. Where we record the matches, spin it all up, put it up for you, and we are surprised about the results just... As much as you are. We do not look at any of the results ahead of time. We don't know how the matches go. True. So. So welcome. And every week we gather up the players' points. So, for example, if you go three and two. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was the magic That was the magic amount of points. You'll get nine points. Yep. We'll add it up to your point total over here. And after ten weeks, we calculate how many points everybody has. And our top eight players, which we've got our nice little Phyrexian symbol here to kind of distinguish who is in the top eight that's the cutoff there chris Groza is our current eighth place player there yes. um top eight plays in its own little invitational yeah a little bit more hardcore a little bit more on the line bragging yeah. rights money you can see go, scrolling across the top are three season champions so far jeremy miller lana rawls and chris Groza. so we'll see we've got the start of week number 10 here so you can see like our top couple, our top three players really are just fighting for seed. They're not worried. Even Eric is not, and Ryan aren't worried about falling out of the top eight True. at this point in time. True. They're, it's all just about seed. The only person, I think, is Jeremy and Chris are the only two people that are really worried. Because if Kyle, let's say, goes 5 0, right? Ooh. 15 points, does that put him at 60? So 70. that. Or 70? So... 69. 69. Well, if he gets 15 points, that would be 60. It's He's okay. 45, right? Oh, I was looking at Chris. Sorry. You're yeah. right. 60. What? Yeah. What? 
Did you guys hear that? Yo, BPAP. We do stream the Top 8 Tournament. It's actually, uh, we, we record it all up like we do every week, but uh, we do a lot more with it. You know, we do interviews, we uh, actually have them lock in deck lists, and then we do up images and have the deck list, and we sit there and talk about it. Brett, please learn to count. Look, I looked at the wrong one. Look, <laughs> Richard, please. 54, 45. Look, they're right next to each right other. They're right next to each other. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, we, we kind of make it more extra of a production, content. extra content for yeah. you guys, and it's a it's a whole night thing. Yes. Whole night thing. We'll go through the entirety. We do one quarterfinal match, which we do have to talk about tonight. Yes, we're going to set a voting up for our yep. viewers at home to kind of see, okay, these players are playing. I kind of want them to play. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys get to choose who our quarterfinal match is going to be, and then after that, we will show, we will record each of the matches after. Yeah, so both semifinals, semifinals and, and then, of course, the finals. The finals. Right. Um, it is set up, of course, first place plays eighth, second plays seventh, right. you know, third, and so on, plays six, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so seeding is important because if you're a higher seed, you are on the play. True. You don't need to roll no dice for it. Nope. Simple and easy. Good job. Already got that advantage. Just giving a little incentive for coming out and playing kind of thing, mm -hmm. and you've put the time in. Uh, to get that far. So it is a tight kind of race for those last couple of spots there. Uh, I guess Jamie technically then is amongst that if Kyle went undefeated and got 60 points and Jamie didn't win a single one for this week. He could jump ahead yeah. uh, of, of Jamie. Ryan's been MIA. Ryan has been MIA, but he is officially locked in. Okay. Nobody can get, uh, or like, he he can't get knocked out of the top eight. You're right. He can be placed now eighth place, but he cannot drop out of the top eight. Jamie, Jeremy, and Chris, it's still tighter. Right. There is They're playing for a spots. chance. Yeah. They're playing for spots but, still. So I just wanted to highlight that a little bit before we get into tonight's matches and, and all that kind of good stuff there. Can I make one note? Yes. Um, so, we've been doing this for over a year now. Yes, right? we have. We've been doing this tournament. This is season four for mm -hmm. three seasons. Um, we've seen uh, our season two champion, Lyle Rolfs, um, who is, uh, is broken after week number 10. Oh, the, we've, we've had a bro broken 100 points 100 every 100 points. Ah. He's been having a tough time. Having a tough time. And, and a lot of our players have missed at least one to two weeks this season. Yeah, it's crazy. Like... It's really interesting to see that difference. And it's also, we've had less players show up, so there's been some weeks that we've had four rounds. True. And that is another factor in it. Because before when we were talking about it and saying, hey, three and two, it's great. that's because all you got to do. Yeah, 90 points, that's pretty much second, third place guaranteed going into the top eight. And now it's like, well, 90 points would put you in first right now if we had five rounds. But right. we had some that were four. So, oh, Just fun, fun just things to know. Fun facts. Mm-hmm things to go over but we do lots of talking and you know brett loves it some, some people do lots of talking <laughs> so let's just get into round one mm. before i talk more excellent <laughs> perfect talk. i can talk to you about stuff while we're, we're going over it's this. true you know we're gonna so. get set up and i I actually have no. What's great about this week is that I was actually gone. You this were, week. so you I took... have no idea who is playing, what they're playing. I didn't see anything. Yeah, so I don't know exactly if Robert is playing like a Ponza style, like if he goes for any land destruction and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Or if it's just prison style, like, I, I don't know exactly. So I've left it as this because he's played, like, prison Fair. decks before. But I know that he was running red-green that night. So we'll wait and see if it we'll is land and destruction and yeah. stuff like that. And we can easily adjust it. Jorge came out. Oh. It's been a while since yeah. we've seen him. Actually, so. looking, when I was doing all the images for uh, this week, uh, there were a couple people that we haven't seen in quite a while. Jorge, uh, Joseph, Joseph. Yep, yep. And uh, Nick Miner. As yeah, well. that is true. So this is going to be exciting. It'll be a good one tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, we record all video coverage, and then uh, we are along for the ride just like you guys are. Yes. But we do coverage of the match mm -hmm. as it goes on. Yeah, and again, we've been doing this for over a year now. 
weekly coverage, making it nice and entertaining for you all. Yeah. Sitting at home, things like that. You know, I'm looking at these green sleeves, and uh, I have a question to ask you. What's that? Uh, so, like, like we celebrated your birthday uh-huh. two days ago, and I can I can only uh, they're previously recorded, Doc. Previously recorded. Yeah, so that's it's like previously recorded live for us and live for you essentially because we're now doing live coverage right. of the vods. Right. Casting from replays, essentially. Yeah. What were you saying about green oh, sleeves? Oh, yeah, green sleeves. Um, so you're an adult now, right? Um, some say that. By my age count. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, no, no, no. Before the new matches, that's correct. Yes. Path. That's correct. That was week That's week total, so we're going into week nine. number... Or, sorry, week nine totals. This is week ten, the final week, so we're going to see... Yep. What this is this is who this is going to decide these matches who is in our top eight, season number four. Yeah. Oh, I well, appreciate it, dude. Mm-hmm. Glad you're you're liking our ideas here. But okay, so I'm an adult apparently. To be fair, we do not. No, we, but, we let it do, but that's yeah. why we sit here and we talk we, about yeah, things. Because a big thing about Modern Magic Mondays is we make it educational and entertaining. Mm-hmm. So we talk to you about what's going on and stuff, but we try to make it entertaining too. Like when they're shuffling, this is the perfect time to sit here and ask about Zelda or the Switch. Or, oh, know. I'm so <laughs> glad that you brought that up. So uh, you're an adult now, right? Oh, yes, yes, okay. You're an adult now, oh, right? Oh, oh, now I understand what you're oh, saying. Yeah. No. Oh. No. I'm okay, not. so so you're not in... Yet. You're about to get the Zora Sapphire. You're close. So you're about to get the Zora <laughs> Sapphire... No. Oh. And you were just like chomping at the bit to play this game that you have wasted <laughs> years of your life not playing. Eight years of my life not playing this game yet. No, oh. I have not. <laughs> I have not. So okay, okay. So, <laughs> so you you're in the Deku tree though. Um. So I have opened the game. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now it's getting good. <laughs> I have not played the game. Oh, yet. okay. That's that's what I wanted to know. Not all right. Okay. No, Look, that's you cool. see the Game Boy's right there. Uh-huh, yep. But I haven't played it It's not it a Game yet. Boy, dude. It's it is a Game Boy. It's a DS. Whatever. All right. Three DS. You know what? Let's just go on to the game. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even talk to you right now. All right. Players are <laughs> deciding whether they're going to keep or mulligan at this point in time. So one of the other cool things that we do at Modern Magic Mondays is when we're highlighting these players, if you guys are traveling around to the East Coast at SCG Opens, at GPs, You might see some of these faces because they do travel around as well. And compete. And compete and do put up pretty good results. True. Um, If you guys are watching, or watching, paying attention to Star City when they've been talking about the modern event that's going to be taking place in Texas with their, like... Team Constructed. Team Constructed. They were talking about one of the decks that Lyle was rocking out, which is the blue-white mid-range style deck that he's featured here on Modern Magic Mondays preparing for some of these events. So just fun facts mm-hmm. of the night, if you will. Mm. Oh, right. so a uh, fun fact, you get to become an adult. I know that. I feel, oh, okay, like, yeah. I, I've right. watched... So, you I've know what? Watched, no, no, sorry. Look, I, I, you're, I was supposed to bring it up. Robert's I've watched, six cards. I've watched people play Zelda. What is wrong with you? I've, why, why would you do that I, to yourself? What, why not? Because I like to watch people play games. We all love to watch people right. play games. So, like, you know, growing up, I did not own any Nintendo systems. But I you know, go over and play, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll watch you play Zelda, sure. All right, he's keeping no. six. Look, I can't. Let's not even <laughs> talk about it right now. It's okay. My childhood game is remastered and coming out soon. Okay. Jorge is on a scalding tarn. For those that don't know, Pass. Brood War has been oh. remastered. looks beautiful now. Not that it didn't look beautiful before. but <laughs> Both are going to 19? Okay. See, look, Blood Moon's in here. Seems kind of prison-esque, but I don't know. <laughs> yes, hype. Hori is going to get a Play some, like, big game hunter. Dude, I'm like with that. you. Let's right. do it. Special Modern Magic Monday stream. Starcraft oh, Remastered. Don't tempt me with a good time. Okay, untap. Got an electrolyze in hand. It looks like he got a blood crypt. Here's a swamp. 
and pass. This is, I mean, this is, this is when I think of Jorge, this is what I'm in. <laughs> Gambling, I'm in. This is this is what Jorge likes. He loves control decks. Uh, uh, okay. I would like to get three mana, please. It's desperate rituals. And a simian. Simian. Chandra. Torture the <laughs> He waits. Oh uh, yeah, you know what? You just ramp up. Go ahead. Man. But I'm gonna counter that. Mana leak. So. Shut you down. You can. But a turn two yeah. Chandra. That would have been really tough to deal with, actually. It, it would have. If but Jorge now. wasn't ready. Here's a blue to Delta. He was ready gonna go to 18 the other thing is jorge's deck is really he's taking his time on it you can see like sign foils in here like really made it look nice well then well okay so let's let's just say this jorge's colors are blue and red and then he'll sprinkle in either black or white, yes. depending on yes. what he's feeling. That I would say that is an so accurate you, statement. So you will definitely see a lot of the staples in a control deck mm -hmm. foiled, nice looking, yeah. signed. That Tassiger doesn't. It could be foiled. I know he's a. I think his deck is entirely foiled. Yeah, he does enjoy foil. Here is another one. And would you like to have a mountain that you already have? Sure, Magus of the Moon. I mean, that does shut him down a little bit in the sense that he doesn't have access to double blue, um, which could maybe, if he's running Cryptic Command, that could have a factor. I would assume so, but this Tassiker is going to do some work. Yeah, four damage coming across. Well, here's another mountain. Okay. So for those that don't remember, Magus of the Moon uh, is basically Blood Moon on legs. Uh, it's just a 2-2, two -two, though. Blood Moon on... Actually, you know what? Let me see if that's an Oracle deck. Hold on. <laughs> Nope. But it is non-basic lands mm -hmm. are mountains. And you can see we do have the fancy dancy card bot in here. Exclamation card, type in the card's name, and that'll let you know exactly what card we're talking about. So sometimes we just start talking about things and we might not go into as much detail about a particular card. You can just look it up and say, what are they talking about? Ooh, Call Guns Command. Two damage to this and make you discard a card. Seems fine. Oh. Oh. I mean, he's got all this ramp. I guess it's not that hard to cast, but... I guess because he's on two mana, World Breaker is not coming out yeah, anytime soon. You know, you know what? This is just a dead card in my hand. Yep. And now he's like, well, you know, that all this fetch it's land is on. active again. I yeah. might as well search up for a watery grave. A nice signed one as well. Foil sign. Mm-hmm. It was, a, it was a nice guy, that Magus of the Moon, to turn on a couple mountains for Jorge. You know, I'm surprised, mm. at this point in time, you have not, like, decked out your path to exiles, at least. I can't decide which one I like. Because mm, there there's so go. many good arts for it. Yeah, and I, I mean, I play it in everything. So. That's, what, that's what I was thinking. It's like, if you're going to make one card be like, you know what, I really want to make sure this is like foil signed or whatever you know well, yeah. cut, whatever but, fanciness you want to go with for it but if you're playing it and everything it just becomes a pain to have to take it out put it in somewhere else yeah, I guess. so you just buy multiple copies of the best card <laughs> in magic that's just easy easy mode and you know what wizards is fine with reprinting it they are the same. Same. <laughs> they, can... they want people to use it yeah speaking of reprints i need to get because i only got one i know you need three more serum visions yep so good. It's all right. So good. It's a, it's a pretty decent card. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's all right. Yeah. Is that a Sarkin? Oh, maybe. Could be a Sarkin. Uh, yeah, we're gonna activate. Go yeah, sure. Boom, boom. Don't give him a Colgan's command. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Snapcaster or Colgan's command? Which oh. would you like? Jeez. Well. Do you want him to cast it, or do you want him to cast it? I think... Uh, Alright. I... I think Snapcaster is the better bet here. Because 
if he goes for the Colgan's command now and just plays it, well, it goes right back in the graveyard, and then and he can get he it can back again. But now this is like, hey, if he gets a Snapcaster, at least he's exiling the Colgan's command. Exactly. And you don't exactly. have to worry about that in the future. I like that. I like that play. I think that was the better choice. I think he ended up giving him the uh, Colgan's Colgan's command. Yeah. Uh, is Jorge playing Delver? I am not sure. I would assume probably not. I think he's probably playing a just more hard control. control. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes he does, but I think he's he's been more of a fan of just the Grixis control over the Delver. Yeah. And actually, I I, I tried out Delver. Hmm. I've done it like two weeks now. Yeah. How are you feeling? Or maybe it's just one week I did it. I'm not. I'm not liking it as much. It's tough. Like Delver, it's like every other creature and every other card in the deck, I'm like, man, this is sweet, Delver. You suck. Like, you're inconsistent on your flips. It's, it's so easy to set up in Legacy, and it's not as easy in Modern to set up. And that's, uh, you know. Thought Scour, target himself. Looks like a push. Oh, right, right in the light. Come on. Oh, he's got a bolt in hand. Oh, he's driving him down to seven. And then here's four more coming across. Well, is there a bolt? And there is. And there it is. It's just, it's so hard to flip a Delver uh, reliably in Modern. Yes. It's like the easiest thing to do, I think, in Legacy. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I don't play Legacy. It uh, is much easier because, like, you have brainstorms, you know. You just you have, have ways to look at the top you, couple you cards you deck. Or anticipate. set up your draws that way. <laughs> so Anticipate, right? Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so one of the cool things that we do here, Modern Magic Mondays, is we have access to our players' sideboards. So that does help you out a little bit if you're thinking about, okay, well, I've got a Grixis-related deck. What sort of stuff? What are other people playing? Yeah, what are, you know, what's going on here? So who would you like to read here? Um, I know how much you enjoy Grixis, so I'll, I'll read Roberts. Okay. So you can read the Grixis sideboard. He's got two Pyroclasm, two Shatterstorm, two Ensnaring Bridge, one Engineered Explosives, Three destructive revelry, one witchbane orb, two pithing needle, and two anger of the gods. Mm. Um, so I like the witchbane orb. That's nice. I'd like to having get, hexproof. Yeah, I'd like to get that in there. Um, ah, what do you think of ensnaring bridge? I I mean the witchbane orb, the pithing needles. I like as well. Um, for his his Tassiger. Mm -hmm. um, how many Tassigers he's running, I don't know. Probably two. Probably two, so it's not a terrible idea. In Snaring Bridge, I I don't know how much it's going to hurt him. Siri, please. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want anything you're selling right now. So. Um, it's because if Jorge is playing hard control, mm -hmm. then he's probably not running a ton of creatures. True. So can you make the? I, I guess you could make the argument that you're shutting his creature down from attacking, mm -hmm. but it, it all depends on what else Robert's running in his deck. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so I don't know. I, I definitely think the Witch Bane and the Pithing Needles at least. Mm -hmm. All right, on Jorge's side, we've got two Surgicals, two Dispel, two, three Molten Rain, three Counter Squall, one is Ecstatic Caster, one Engineer Explosive, one Painful Truth. One click and one desolate lighthouse. So adding an extra land in his mm. board, interesting. Um, now, well, I don't know. Based on what I saw, uh -huh. I don't really see anything that I'm like, man. You know what I really could use right now? Like, there's nothing in there that's like really jumping out at me. So. I mean, maybe a surgical or something like that. Oh, my. <laughs> that was too much. Hold on. Keep talking. <laughs> um, like, he already has some counter spells in there, like the mana leaks and stuff like that. So counter squall and dispels aren't really necessary. Maybe after game two, if you need extra stuff, you can bring in counter squall. Mm-hmm. You know, extra point of damage, things like that. There are the Planeswalkers. Um, so, you know. But then again, it's like we don't have access to his full 75. We really only have access to 15 True. cards. And that's the 15 in his sideboard. True. So. 
All right, Tin Man. I'm doing my best over here. We'll see what the cards look like here in a second. Yeah. The, so we have an issue with the shop itself and the lighting in the shop. Like we've been we've been really trying really hard about it for a couple of seasons now. Um, the walls are chroma green. They are very bright. Chroma green. Definitely way to put it. keep keep you awake. Um, but the lights are all overhead. What what kind of bulbs are those? So it's like really long ones that you'd see fluorescent, fluorescent bulbs. The I'm ones not, that like I, are I made that up. if well, you're in a classroom, those lights that are in the ceiling. Yeah, it's like that. The ones that give you a headache. Those ones. So so that's kind of our issue. We've been trying like if we have the overhead lights on. It's too bright reflecting off of everything, and there's glare on the cards. Yeah. So we have a couple of, of like, lamps, essentially. I was right. Oh, fluorescent, nice. Lyle, Lyle's confirming. Uh, we have a couple of lamps set up to try to make it brighter in there without making it too bright. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's... I haven't... I don't know what we're going to end up doing. But we're going to continue to try different things and see what we could do to make it easier on you guys to, to be able to watch when, when we get that full-time you know gig of just traveling around we'll mm -hmm. just we'll have oh, all the yeah. production values so. it'll be it'll be great just hold out guys all the extra support you guys provide us does yeah. make that possible though for us to help travel around do some content for other shops because then you just you just you know you're roving Roving content yeah. machine, right? Roving content you got machine. got lights, you got green screens, you got the whole shebang. No, I, I actually was looking at a particular light um, to help with like interviews and stuff like that and just mm. having extra light. I don't know how well it would work for the shop. We what, we need to do, what we need to do is when we do start doing interviews, we mm -hmm. need to start picking pictures to put like GIFs in videos to put behind their players mm. and then we won't tell them when we're interviewing that's what's nice. happening and then yeah. oh that's smart that's, that's post production because, because, because the, the wall, wall is you green know, screen it's, it's a green screen dude <laughs> I'm telling you I mean we're not going to be doing anything to mess with you guys <sighs> never but if you guys are interested in, in the area by all means come on out on a Tuesday night 7pm yep, play some modern with us you could get on camera. You could. Some weekend events, you could True. get on camera as well. True. There was a uh, PPTQ uh, this weekend at Comic Kung Fu. Standard. Mm. Ooh, a chalice. That can make me a little bright. But there was no... Oh, we'll wait and see. There was no land, so that's not being kept. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes it's nice to cast your spells. Mm-hmm. Need some foils? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, they're not the foils that I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, players still deciding. Well, Jorge is pretty much set, but I mean, he's Robert's in. Like, you know, I need some lands, guys. Did you see Jorge sideboard at all? He didn't. Oh, but like there was the discussion in chat going on about how Connor Squall is good because. There's planeswalkers because there's blood moon stuff, but it's like you saw one planeswalker. I mean, you also saw the the um, what was that man accelerator spell? Desperate ritual. Desperate ritual. Um, so it's like counter skull is great if you want to go for that route because you know you're pretty much going to counter his r ramp. Sure. So, but I guess Jorge is like, well, you know what? Whatever. I'm it worked out with, well with the my first time. Sixty. Already, I don't need to adjust for this game. I think he's keeping five, mm -hmm. and we're ready to go. So, Woody Foothills, eh, it's not too bad. Mm. Looks like a canal into a. Serum vision for Jorge. The more you know. Lyle giving us fun facts. 
That's a it's a foil serum for Jones. Yeah. It's not the right kind of foil. No, I think it's correct. I yeah. think it's it's <laughs> definitely correct. Noble gas. Fully satisfied. Oh, well, there you go. We're you're not only gonna learn magic tonight. You can You're gonna get some science, right? I like it. Were you more of a fan of science or history in school? I was better at history than I was at science. But were you more of a fan? Is what I asked. Oh, oh, um, like because I mean, you know, I enjoyed it's... science. I was bad at it. Okay. Here's, here's <laughs> the desperate it. Ritual. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Turn to Blood Moon. Sure. Shut you down. Mm -hmm. And here's Blood a mountain pass. Mountain. Draw. I'm gonna play a mountain. Chalice, Chalice on one. Okay. Serum bolts. All those done. No more. Thoughts cowers out of here. <gasps> Oh, is there a Delver? I think I saw a Delver. Oh, no. Can't play that either. Mm -hmm. Wait, did he just fetch? Oh, Judge! <laughs> judge! Oh, uh, no. She count one. She count one. <laughs> Cheats! <laughs> Can't fetch. That's right. It's a mountain. <laughs> I mean, he got a mountain. <laughs> oh, no. And he also didn't change his life total. <laughs> no, he did it. Wait a minute. So. <laughs> Double cheat count? <laughs> I, I don't know. At, at this juncture. Should we? What? I mean, I'm going to go ahead and penalize him. You know what? Him. Yeah. I think. <laughs> he's got to go to 19 on that one, even though he cheated. Oh, you're gonna help him out though. <laughs> don't don't worry, I got you. Here's the two I've got. What kind of stream is this? <laughs> Let players fetch when there's blood moons out. Rigged. <laughs> Match fixing. <laughs> Terminate. Yeah, Good that, thing he's got that swamp to help him get cast that it. Get dude out of here. Now there's only one Blood Moon effect yeah, out. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Gurmog Angular. Yo, he can do that. There's this zombie fish. Yep. I thought I saw a young pyromancer in his hand, which he can also cast. Mm. But this is a much better play here because it's throwing down... A 6-6 six, six threat. <laughs> yeah. And basically saying, can you answer this? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Got it. Here's 6. <laughs> You're technically at 14. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep it that way. I mean... And yeah, there he is. I'm just happy that he fetched for a nice mountain, check. but he still can't do that. But yeah. I think he only delved two. Oh. Cheat count. <laughs> Cheat count. It does number cost three. Seven. Oh, never mind. All right. <laughs> Sarkon. Is that the one from Cons? Yes. Yeah. He can turn himself into a 5-5 five five dragon. Yeah. Oh, the dragon has haste too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, come on, dude. How do we mean? It's actually a four, I think. Oh, okay. Based on Jorge adjusting his life total. Oh, Reminding me sense. that he's a four, and yep. And then I'll kill that. <laughs> Fish eats the dragon. Never thought I'd see the day. Oh, there's another Magus of the Moon. Well, here's a blocker. Yep. He's got a terminate in hand. I think. Relevant. Normally, can't use that. Coming at you. Six. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll uh, take six more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where where he's keeping his life total at, but this is where <laughs> he should be. <laughs> Here's 
Six more. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why he's adjusting it for five. It's six. Oh, does he not? Oh. That would make sense, I guess. If he thinks it's only a 5-5. Five, five. Things are quite different. Now deal two and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like he's going to give that Magus the moon, neg two, neg two. Mm -hmm. And you have to discard a card. He's going to sap for two, <laughs> putting him to zero. <laughs> Did we not have a judge? I don't know. Oh, it's a five? Five, five? Oh, no. What is the... Isn't there another Dell thing that's a six, six? Um, Tomestalker? Or is that the... I don't remember. Casters, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Jorge's going to get that in a, a timely fashion. Yeah, the car five, five. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have that. What are we thinking? Listen, I was on tilt for the, the cheats. <laughs> we were, yeah, the cheats were throwing us off. Oh, it is a 5-5-2. Five, five, wow. Hmm. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, hey, it was a quick round one. That was a quick round one. Um, is it four rounds tonight? Only four. Oh, four rounds, home for dinner. That's yeah, <laughs> easy like, peasy, guys. Home for switching. Yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> alright let's check our points guys and that's another cool thing that we do again in between each round you'll, we'll let you know how the points are standing who's been winning who's been losing because again a lot of these names and faces are going to be familiar and as you can tell it's nice out so there's dogs barking in the background mm -hmm. So, uh, but half of our players sitting with three points and half of them not that's how, how it goes here so we'll have to take a look round two one of our three-pointers, I'm guessing. Mm. He's talking to me, by the way.